Who is that in there? Yeah. Is that you? That's you? We got a video we gotta do, okay? You just keep looking at that baby in the, in the mirror there. So I got a comment on a video I made not so long ago called 13 months of rosemary oil for hair loss. I finally believe it. Now on here, we got a comment from someone called Cineria, is that what I'm supposed to say? And here's what he says, and I can appreciate this, all of this. It says, quote, I rarely ever comment on anything, but this question bugs me since you started the rosemary oil experiment. Why do you mix the specific oils you do use in the recipe? Is this the best mixture of the best oils in your opinion? Why don't you also add, say, nettle root, for example? I'm just that curious, end quote. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna refresh my own memory of exactly what is in this recipe. So I am actually going to Google myself uh, because when you have a name like Nick Shell and you Google yourself, a lot of stuff comes up. Between my blog, Family Friendly Daddy blog, my other two YouTube channels. Uh, but ultimately I Google, let's see. Let me try this. I'm gonna go with Nick Shell Rosemary Oil Hair Loss. There we go. Okay. Nick Shell Rosemary Oil Hair Loss. When you Google that, here the first thing that comes up is I use rosemary oil, essential oil for hair loss for six months and this is what happens. And this one in particular really does a good job of breaking it down of exactly what's in uh, my recipe. If I can get that to focus, there we go. So there you go. So there's exactly what's in it. I'm gonna read that. You can pause that if you need to to see it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and read through what, what is actually <laughs> is in my uh, system that I use. So the carrier oil is almond oil, and I think I chose that simply because it's cheap, and my mom had it. Basically, my mom has like, always been into natural stuff like this. So she, she has to just like, like uh, at her house, just a whole collection of, of essential oils. So almond oil, it smells nice, it's cheap, and she had it. Uh, next thing is, in addition to the one ounce of almond oil as the carrier oil, uh, 18 drops of rosemary oil. So 18 drops of rosemary oil, which is the main thing. And then from there, I did three drops of rose hip seed oil, three drops of sage oil, three drops of lavender oil. And as far as why, I gotta admit, this is a little bit of a home brew as far as this recipe goes. Um, uh, it had to do with what my mom had, and then I had already read that some of these other things can help with, with uh, the oil as well. We actually ended up adding um, argan oil in there as well since this. Um, so as far as argan oil, I think we ended up going with like nearly just as much um, rosemary and argan oil combined, uh, maybe even maybe something like half. So I've definitely added that into the mix since this was written, because this was just six months after. And I actually forgot that back in those days, uh, it says, plus one pumpkin seed oil capsule daily, but two daily for the first month. And I stopped doing that, I guess, after six months. I forgot all about that. Because for me, it was all about, I don't want to spend money in, on doing this any more than I have to. Ow! And I don't want to spend any more money than I have to. And, the, and I had to pay, you know, for the pumpkin seed oil capsule. So that that's, um, ultimately, my, my thing is, I... I researched online, what are other people doing as far as the, and, and the whole thing that got me motivated to do this is, I think even Robert had sent me a link showing that uh, people who did the rosemary oil for six months to a year had similar results to those who use Rogaine. So I started Googling and just combining everything. And what's funny is, even if I stumbled into this by accident, this is apparently what's working for me. So it's effective. So. Um, forget about the professionals, just look at me and this is what's been working. So I hope that answers the question on how I ended up with these. The, the, the easy answer is just to tell you that a lot of it had to do with the oils that my mom already had at her house because I didn't want to spend money doing this. And then we ended up adding in argan oil because one of the people who watched my video commented and said it would be a good idea. So I did and I'm glad I did and it's funny because uh, even the shampoo that I use now, that one that was on clearance at, at Kroger that I showed you in a few videos ago, uh, even in that, it has, I think, rosemary and argan oil in there. Um, so I think for me, the most important things are the rosemary and the argan oil. 
Uh, and of course, I like almond uh, as the carrier. So I hope that answers your questions. And um, I think this is definitely something, yeah, I, I just stumbled into it. But if it's working for me, then it's a happy accident, huh?